All right, so a person on Reddit recommended a build to me and I took my own spin on it, of course, but still the idea stands. You have a lot of early power and a lot of gold generation, also a lot of utility. So this build is very explosive. Ah, oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, I guess we're fighting, huh? Need to flash this, actually. Man, early game Callista. This might work. Come on, Pike, you can do it. Minions? Minions don't do anything. Alright, so I guess we can't even buy. And how is this game going like this already? The wave seems good for us though. It's pushing towards me. Callista is stuck here without anything. Anyway. Okay, that's perfect. Callista loses so much. In any case, we have Treasure Hunter, we have First Strike, we have Free Boots, uh, and we have the Umber Glaive Zombie Ward combo. We, we rush Umber Glaive, we go for the Thality build, lots of burst damage, but we also have the combo of Umber Glaive and Zombie Wards. Umber Glaive gives you a lot of gold too, just by passively farming wards. Gotta keep that in mind. And your items are fairly inexpensive too. Umber Glaive costs almost nothing compared to other items. Ghost Blade also cheaper than Crit Mythics. And from there we just go for Lord Dawn's Collector, whatever we need. Okay, well, this game's kind of crazy. <laughs> Callista got a dagger, nothing too major. We can chill. Okay. Okay, Pike recalling. I need to stay safe. If I get hooked, I die. Pretty sure. I'll just farm. Okay, I can't get these. Minion autos, and then I can get it. Alright, so Pike has two kills. Looks kind of promising, doesn't it? But Noto, this is in this bush, and if I walk up, I die. Okay, he leaves. And Pike's on his way. Let's not overdo it. I still don't have items. <sighs> I mean, I can, I get it. Pike is trying to push his lead. But I'm... I don't know. I'm not feeling it at this point. I want my serrated Derek too before I do this. I can't help him. He's just dead. Yeah, this is exactly... I, I can't do anything. He just goes in, gets stunned, and Callista stacks all her Ren's spears. So, uh, not a fan. Not a fan at all. They could try to dive me. The tower will block hooks, though. Is this worth? I'm not sure. Okay, it is worth. Man, the zero items all in. In any case, please push. Alright, that actually works. Sure, um, <laughs> no complaints. We even get the wave under tower. So this early game is just crazy, but we get a full Umber Glaive first base. We <laughs> had zero component items. We just get a full Glaive. I love it. Got good damage now. It's 50 AD, 13 lethality, some haste too. And we clear wards, we get uh, zombie ward stacks. Eyeball collection would have been crazy this game, but I mean, don't know beforehand, most games don't go like this. In most games, you will stack zombie wards faster than eyeball collection when you go Umber Glaive. 
so keep that in mind. And zombie boards are just more useful and more consistent and everything, so, you know, you know, that's just how it goes. Callista with full boots, who cares? Oh god, I care. I'm dead. I didn't respect the Nautilus in the bush. I lose a ton of farm now, man. Ah. Okay, I lose so much gold, but with my runes and with my inexpensive build, I should be able to compensate, right? Still, that was terrible, getting hooked like this. We need to be more careful. The enemy is not dumb. They know how to play. Oh god, Pike. Pike's living the most dangerous life. And I lose the cannon and my flash. Everyone in this lobby is just so greedy. Okay, I got ult now. Which is certainly something. My Q animation went off, but the spell didn't do anything. <laughs> it didn't even go on cooldown. That's interesting. Ah, <sighs> rough. So we know we're not walking over a ward, which is quite valuable. Enemy is no longer in our jungle. I appreciate. I can't take this ward, actually. I will die if I do it. Okay, as long as I don't get hooked, we're fine. I don't have mana for ease right now. Didn't get the bounce. Fiddle on his way. Good damage. They're going for it. Come on, Fiddle. Ah, oh, he doesn't have them. We're all dead. The master ye counter gank. Goodness. But I mean, it's a two for two exchange. Callista lives, which means she can farm while I can't. Which is always bad for me. Man, this game is just snowballing <clears throat> heavily in their favor. But we're already saving gold here. We have 210 here. We have 160 here. Working on our second item already. It's fine. It works. No matter what happens, you get your items, and you are useful, and that's what matters. Maybe we can finally take this control ward. Alright. I have ults. Come on, let me live. All right, nice. So I saved Pike, cleared the wave, dealt some damage. That's all I can ask for, really. Okay, let's go. Good damage. As long as we don't get CC'd, Callista can't follow up, really. And Nautilus is low. So what's he gonna do? Die. Nice, that works. Almost. Let's dive. I'm all for it. I don't care anymore. Okay, I do care. <laughs> okay, Akali is no longer missing. Now I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is the craziest early game ever. This Callista is really cheeky. She's going for such daring plays, and she lives. Alright, I guess we back off and chill. 
If I stay, can I actually defend? Maybe I can. I have ult in 13. I don't have enough mana for E plus R. But it will be enough to make a difference. I don't want to give them free playthings here. Yeah, and chances are that they don't dare to go for this if I'm staying here. Nice. Get these wards. Okay, they don't take dragon. And Umbro Glaive is so useful. Just clear, clearing vision, no way you can walk without getting spotted. And ever since its lethality got buffed, it's also not too bad damage-wise. Especially considering the low price points. We just farm with autos to save mana. If Pike engages, we go all in. We need our mana for that. Could have worked. I'm just dead. Shouldn't have. Yeah. My bad. I thought Nautilus altered Pike and not me, which was stupid, but I just didn't see it in the moments. That's a nasty lane. It's a nasty combo. <laughs> Yo, this pike took these early kills and rides them to victory in this lane. Come on, get her. <laughs> wow. He has eight kills. Eight kills at this point. Man. If only I could get that much gold, but... Well, actually I can. Just use my runes. And farm their wards. Well, we killed two wards so far. Three if you count the control ward too. There are no more platings, so I don't need to walk there. I can just go D ward, get some vision control for my team. And stacks from my eyeball collection. Nice, there we go. Seven stacks already. We're already outdoing Eyeball Collection. Or, well, Zombie Word, I mean, not Eyeball Collection. We're already. Don't get grabbed. Don't get grabbed. Don't be in the choke points. I cannot attack the dragon. It's too risky. Could have worked. <laughs> yeah. You see how much work Zombie Wards or and Amber Glaive are putting in? It's crazy. It's definitely a playstyle that works on Misfortune. Ten stacks. We're fully stacked on zombie wards. That's 18 attack damage out of nowhere. Okay, that's bad. Come on, Pike, get him. Ah, he didn't land. Okay. Ulting Callista is so difficult because she can always just jump. Uh, okay, that looked weird, but if it works, it works, right? Can't argue with results. <laughs> and as you can see, we are 1 in 5, <clears throat> but we still have 2 items at 16 minutes, working towards our third already. It's it's crazy. We're quite powerful. And we have utility. Ah, okay. Tower goes down. I could have stayed for a long sword, but it's fine. One 
125 CS, also not too shabby. Let's siege mid lane. Get these minions. I can actually... No, I can't. <laughs> Akali is here. Had she not been here, I would have quickly taken the tower, but... It's not a risk I'm willing to take. Might as well roam instead. We have great roaming. We have so much movement speed, despite not spending a single piece of gold on boots. There we go. Also getting pike passive for extra gold generation. We're so rich. One in five, still a million gold. <laughs> okay, works. What do I want, actually? Loki? I think getting Collector right now is not bad. For even more gold. The only one who has both armor is... No I mean, at this point, even base armor is strong enough to... Yeah, nah, the Collector is troll. I need a Last Whisper item for sure. I'll get one. I'll get one. Be right back in the lane, but the recall here is important. We just get the Lord Dominic's. Alright. Let's do this. Yeah, we transition to crit here. Or we go for um, these two items because crit plus pen. You could go for the utility items with Edge of Night and stuff, but I think transitioning into crit is better. Makes use of the gold generation more. Because you can actually then fully transition late game and you don't have... It, it will be unlikely you will sit on gold and can do nothing with it. Going for more expensive items now. Okay, this time I take the tower. No one's here. Better Ghostblade away before I get grabbed. Ghostblade, even if he flashes, I can potentially dodge his grab on reaction with movement speed. Due to Ghostblade active. But yeah, now we get a massive advantage in the map. Midland tower difference. Deny their vision. Huge stun. She ults him out. Man, this lane combo is just impossible to ult. Can you believe it? Let's try to catch Akali here. She's out. We're not catching her anytime soon. We lose Midland Tower for this roam. What on earth? Why did we do this? Why didn't we play well? Oh, hang on. Even flashes. Come on, there's no chance he lives. Yeah, okay. There we go. I lose farm mid lane, but this fight is more important. Come on, get him. Misfortune's burst with lethality is just so high. I just did this for some first strike value. Now clear this wave and then recall. Alright. I have so much gold, need to spend it. Need to get stronger. Gold's worth nothing. The items you buy, those are what gets you stronger, of course. Get this and this. Beautiful. We deal tons of damage now. The way the math works, the percent armor pen is applied before the lethality, so it's even more valuable. Because the closer you get them to zero, the better it is. Top lane's too far away. Or is it? Maybe I should have pathed there. I'm quite quick. 
with my... Okay, they got this anyway. Jeff ulted immediately, I thought he was dead for sure. Oh, he is dead for sure. There we go. It's all good. <laughs> One auto smacks them for 30% damage. Got him. Yeah, we're giga strong. Get so much free gold. Which means items. <laughs> and who would have thought? Items are quite powerful in this game. After Collector, I need to move towards some lifesteal, though. How much? 1.9k. Sure. I will greed for this. Definitely. You know me. <laughs> That's enough. By the time I'm, rec I'm, I'm fully recalled, it's... The passive gold generation will have taken care of it. Alright. I would have loved it if he grabbed me there. I would have survived, he would have died for sure. Oh, they're fighting without me. And they're getting caught. That does not look good. It's a 3v5 actually. I don't think I can salvage this. Well, might as well take their ward. Hmm. Yeah, I was in no position to help there. Unlucky. Okay. <laughs> I'm playing with fire there for no reason, really. Well, cancelling their recalls means... Kesante gets the tower, so not too bad, actually. You don't want this, Akali. You don't want this, Gangplank. Goodness. I'm so strong. Where did I get all this gold? <laughs> the random control ward. Okay, um, I guess I just buy a BF sword, screw lifesteal, I want damage. <laughs> Yo, it's 24 minutes, we're approaching full build. This would be the last item for most builds that don't sell boots. We're working on our last item at 25, what? But yeah, this is why I choose a path like this, so we can still upgrade, sell boots for this, sell mythic for Navori, to fully embrace the crit late game. So you don't have the gold wasted in your pockets at some points. You have plenty to upgrade. But yeah, we're, we're giga strong. What on earth? The budget misfortune builds. Alright, three drakes for us. How Gangplank disrespected ult there. He just, he just tried to get me with his barrels and died for it. Maybe he gets me with his barrels right now. Still dies for it. Okay, enemies drop quickly. Your ult is immensely powerful. With a build like this, you have to ban Yasuo, by the way. His wind wall would make you far too useless. When you have that much of your power budget in your R key. I gotta get some health back. Okay. I better fight with them here. But not run into Akali's dash. Okay, I almost messed up.
Well, if it works, it works. They're still trying to get us here. There we go. I'm filthy rich. Don't get barreled. Don't get barrels. Come on, get him. There we go. Four of them down. Yeah, I'm full build, essentially. I have enough money to finish Bloodthirster. This is crazy. Actually wild. Look at the damage. Okay, careful. Ah, uh, I was thinking about assassinating them, but it would be too risky. Better just recall, get my item. There we go. Nice. Um, yeah, 450 attack damage. We finished at 27 minutes something. But we can still make better use of our item slots. You'll see. Okay, come on, Pike. Get him. Or not. Or not. I'm lucky. Maybe I should have pressed R, but I didn't feel like it. I think there are better opportunities. I can save it for something bigger. That monstrous spell. Okay, Cassante pushing top lane inhibitor, I like it. Let's help him out a bit, so we guarantee it. We just stand here, so they can't engage. Yeah, just keep it simple. Siege with Baron minions. Yeah, get the base, get the inhibitor, and uh, do we have a big ult here? Sakali is a little bit erratic. Okay, my ult was not really good, but as long as she dies, I'm happy. Let's kill Gangplank. Come on, hook him. Wild. Absolutely wild. Full build at 27 minutes. You can't really argue with that, huh? Anyway, for more creative AD carry stuff and educational videos, click the link on your screen.